The visible universe is only a tiny amount, about 4% of what the universe is actually made of. A very large fraction of the universe, in fact about 26%, is made of an unknown type of matter called dark matter. Unlike stars and galaxies, dark matter does not emit any light or electromagnetic radiation of any kind, so that we can only detect it through its gravitational effects. An even more mysterious form of energy called dark energy accounts for about 70% of the mass energy content of the universe. In physics, the term light refers to electromagnetic radiation of any wavelength, whether it's visible or not. But too often when we say light, it is mistaken to mean optical light, which is roughly the radiation visible to our eyes. Visible light is a tiny portion of a huge smorgasbord of light called the electromagnetic spectrum. For convenience, we break this smorgasbord up into different courses, uh, appetizer, salad, etc., and uh, assign them names, such as uh, gamma rays, x-rays, ultraviolet, optical, uh, infrared, and radio. However, it is important to remember that they are all just light. There are no breaks and no hard boundaries in the electromagnetic spectrum, just a continuous range of energy. So let's do a thought experiment to appreciate light. Let's say in the course of a new year, I put you on a rocket ship and you come back exactly one Earth revolution later. I sent you off at 12 a.m. on a brand new New Year's Day. Well, if you're moving at typical rocket ship or satellite speeds, which are a few kilometers per second, your watch, if it's a good watch, will be about one hundredth of a second slower after a year due to the time dilation effects of special relativity and hardly noticeable. Big deal. But uh, what if you start moving fast? What if you move at 10% of the speed of light, about 30,000 kilometers per second? Your watch will say that it's about 44 hours earlier than mine. While I'm ringing in the new new year, you think it's 4 a.m. on December 30th. If you get up to 90% of the speed of light, I'm sipping champagne while you think it's early morning on June 9th of that year. At 99.99% .99 of the speed of light, only five days will have passed for you while I have lived a whole year. And at 99.9999999% the speed of light, an entire year passes for me in just 23 minutes for you. So, as uh, things move faster, time passes slower for them. Now, being made of matter and having mass, we can never move at the speed of light. But things that do travel at the speed of light never have any time pass for them. And so, light never ages. Light never dies. And so, what a great tool for an artist to try to understand.